question of what but um what like did you ever ask you a question about when um when Al Yankovic did the whole parody? <laughs> well, well, um, oh, yeah. yeah, he asked me, I told him I wasn't feeling it. I mean, you know, but what can I say, man? I mean, you know, the boy, he did Michael Jackson's beat it. So, hey, and he said, eat it. So, man, what can, what can yeah. we say? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, 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 man, you, you can't. Cool, yeah, Coolio was, uh, was tight. Like, Coolio was tighter than tight. Like, you know. Yeah, cool, yeah he was tighter than that pussy. Like, yeah, because he felt like he, he was trying to he was trying to mock you guys. Like he didn't know he didn't even know you know like the trials and tribulations of the or the hood or whatever. So he felt like he was just trying to right. like he was trying to mock you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's what Kudel thought he was trying to mock us. But I, I don't know how he felt that because Weird Al been doing songs way before Gangsta's Paradise came out. He been, if that's the case, he been mocking everybody. Pretty yeah. much, mm-hmm. you yeah, know. Pretty so pretty much, I mean, um, like, it was it was good promotion. Yeah, but Coolio ain't yeah. no gangster no way, so he didn't stop it. Ah! <laughs> oh, see? See, look at that. We ain't saying nothing. So people out there that hey, we ain't saying hey, that. LB, LB said that. The LB said Coolio ain't no gangster no way. He need to stop it. <laughs> oh, oh, man, man. see? You see that, kid? I'm going to tell you like Martin told him on uh, 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 Wild Hogs. He don't want it. So what happened? Yeah, like, did, did something happen? So, what is the relationship yeah, you know, with that one situation? Like, now, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I gotta ask you this. Like, what, yeah. what made you say that? Like, what happened to make you like see his true character? Did something happen to make you feel like, oh, shit, this nigga's not even about that life? Well, like, what man, happened? I'm gonna tell you about an incident that happened one time, my nigga. And I mean, you, this is. I know it's on radio, but I don't give a damn. We in we we out of the, we out of the country. I get this off the country with we, these people. We off the country, um, baby. We go straight for the we go straight for the stomach, baby. Off the country. Correct. We uh all uh, right, so we uh we was out of the country and I uh, get into a conversation with the with a couple of fellas. <laughs> well, I mean, matter of fact, one fella and dude, I'm in line to get my food, but I'm kind of like a little tipsy on the thing. So I walk behind McDonald's and I come back. And I get back in line, and so I get up in line and get my order my food. And I heard somebody say something because I'm ordering my food. And then I turn around, and my brother called me a nigga. Dude, what? Like, so I, yeah, yeah, I'm keeping it real. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what'd you call me? I was like, it wasn't me. He said it was the guy in back of me, right? This is the white guy told me. He said the guy in back of me. So I go to the dude in back of me. I said, what did you, what did you say, man? What, what you call? Me? Right? He said. He said, if she would have said so, then she would have told you. When he said, I just took it there. I'm quit. I'm serious. I took it there. Me and yeah. my other fellas that was with me, my, my protege that was with me, my niggas that was on tour with me, we, we beat him down. Yeah. Right? Coolio yeah. there. Coolio struck out and ran, my nigga. <laughs> cool yourself, I'm just keeping it real. My nigga ran, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. Like I said, I don't think you know. 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 So, you know, I, I don't want to say what else that, that was going to occur, but yeah, my nigga ran, homie. We looked for my nigga, he was gone. Wow. Damn. Wait a minute, you know what? Um, we, we, did did a, we, did a, we did a show. We did a show at the convention center. Us, Mac Ten, Ice T, Coolio, me. Who else was that? Somebody else. And uh, I think it was Ice T before Mac Ten went up. Ice T said, "Everybody in the hood, throw your set up." And as he said, he started doing that. Mac Ten walk on the stage and they start throwing bottles and everything. Oh, they started attacking. Yeah, they started attacking the stage, right? And so wow. I'm coming from behind my, I'm kind of coming out of my room, coming from behind the curtain. I'm finna go on stage because I know I'm next to go up. Man, I see my nigga, the braids, they're just flying. I'm like, what is this nigga running from? It's Coolio running again. Every, every, God, God, damn, what the fuck? Track star, oh, it? man, like I said, like I said, that's, dude is not ride with me, but he ain't no gangster, homie. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not running, homie. I, I'm too fat to run. I can't run, so you better see what you're going to do. <laughs> I think we can oh, wow. you, you, you have a cold you have a cold fight on your hands. You might win, but you have a cold fight on your hands. You would say, That's that nigga right like, there. Yeah, I don't want to fight him no more. But uh, I'm just no saying, man, you know, you, you heard it on the You heard it on the 
was on off the cuff boy. radio. You heard it on the off the cuff radio. Not once, but twice. Coolio ran from an altercation. God damn. Oh, so, so, you know. That shit is And it is what it is. He know it is what it is. And come holler at me, man. Come holler at me. You know where I'm at. You know where I live, too. Come holler at me. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, yeah, we got big 